Hello guys, welcome back to Adventures of Well Um Me, and today... Oh, my jacket's falling off the back of the seat here. Today we are going to be playing uh, Donkey Kong 64 for the Nintendo 64 for our Museum of Gaming A to Z. Yeah. <laughs> Let's jump straight into this. Um, music's working today, so it was just the uh, ROM for the Donald Duck game, which is absolutely annoying. Um, and also the... Uh, other other game that I said I had was also just a rename for distribution in a certain region. Yes, but this is Donkey Kong 64. This is a really good uh, rareware game. I would love to show you this entire wrap, but we're going to skip it because it's quite long. Um, and we're going to get into the gameplay. Absolutely love the DK wrap. Um, I've got a copy of this on Nintendo 64. I have a copy of this on um, the Wii U from the uh, A-Shop, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so right now I'm trying to defrost my dinner. I've got a leftover meal <laughs> that I just took out the freezer. And it is just absolutely rock, rock hard. I looked at it, I'm like, there is gonna take a while. Like, just the, sh just the sheer quantity of it that needs to defrost. Um, yeah. It makes sense that if it's in the freezer, it's rock hard. Um, but yeah, it's gonna take me quite a bit to defrost it. So I've stuck it in the microwave and I put it on as, uh, I put it as like roughly a kilo. And it was less than that. Um, wait but I put it for a kilo it's gonna take 20 minutes so a perfect amount of time uh, for me to record an episode for Museum of Gaming that is the reason why I'm talking about my data and why I'm defrosting it otherwise I have no idea why um, I'm just passing the time because I know that this is a little bit of a lengthy intro yeah oh, I opened uh, my loot crate today that was fun just the theme of speed uh, looking forward to putting that up on the channel Got some really cool kind of collectibles in this one. Not so much practical items, just collectibles. I'm trying to think, yeah. I've got quite a lot of collectibles. Um, I also have recently got a Pokemon Go Plus. I didn't do an unboxing of that. I decided by the time I got it, because I waited till they were out and this is glitchy. <laughs> I waited till they were out and then I purchased it off someone from eBay because I don't remember there being voice acting for that. Um, but yeah, Pokemon Go Plus had been out for a little bit and everyone's already uploaded videos, so I've decided I wouldn't do that. Unless someone requests a video, then I'll make one for you. Um, I also have both the Victini Mythical Collection box coming and the Pikachu Red and Blue Collection Pikachu AX box. Awesome, looking forward to that. Um, other than that, the one thing that I would, am looking forward to getting to unbox, which is going to be a little bit away, um, is actually in fact a Yu-Gi-Oh product. It's the Legendary Dex 2. Really looking forward to that one. I've got the first one, the Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Unbox that on the channel, actually, if you want to check out Opening Adventures on Sunday. That's an old series that we had from last year. Um, yeah, check that out. It's um. That was awesome, getting three Yugi decks, and this one comes with a Yugi deck, a Joey deck, and a Kaiba deck. So I'm absolutely dying to get that. Um, I'm waiting for some of the Australian companies to announce it if they've got it. Um, otherwise, I'll just be getting it from. I think I got. Why did I get it from last time? I think I got it from Oz Game Shop. So if that's the case, I'll be getting it from them again. They were the cheapest. Um, easily affordable as well. I pre ordered it last time. So I'll be checking that out. I have a lot to say, I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm hungry and I'm talking and playing this game and waiting because I really want dinner. I want to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Steal that old golden bananas he treasured so much and take care of his pathetic friends. This time there can be no mistakes. 
know you that sort of thing. We will have you taken care of business. <laughs> I hope for your sake, you're right this time. I really don't remember there being voice acting. It's probably just because I'm thinking of other games, like Banjo. Kazooie in that, which doesn't have the voice acting. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna bother reading uh, the different things like that, because we're just gonna get into the gameplay. Whoa! And I think, like usual, uh, Donkey Kong is going out because the don the <laughs> Donkey Kong the banana stash is threatened. That's <laughs> usually his reason. The precious banana horde and all the other Kongs have vanished. Yeah, bananas. Let's go see Cranky. That that's all Donkey Kong cares about, the fact that his banana horde has been uh Taken, vanished, I don't know. What am I saying? I struggle with words sometimes. Here we go, here's Cranky over here. Um Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cranky lab. Um do, 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 do. let's get through this. I just yeah. <sighs> Take too long to do that. Uh, so we're gonna go do those. Um, this is one of the games that my brother and I completed 100% or is it 101 percent in this one? I don't know, it could be one of those games that has 101 percent. Um, but yeah, we sat there forever playing through this game. Um, it actually belonged to him, but uh, the Nintendo 64 belonged to me, so I ended up with all the copies. He didn't want them anyway, so fair enough. I ended up with them. <sighs> well, <laughs> sorry guys, that uh, sneeze came on all of a sudden. Uh, that was annoying. Well done. When I sneezed, I pressed like absolutely everything in the like controller, just that on the controller, and then that's gonna blow up. So we just have to do these four training things before we can get a power, I think, to then go and um enter the level or something like that. I apparently be able to pick up the barrels and throw it again with B through the five barrels. Boom. 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 They give you a minute to do this. And look, I've done that in like 15 seconds. You do not need a minute. 30 seconds maybe. Give you time to get used to it. There we go, there's that one. Um, I don't know what else I can say about this game. Um, yeah, we can do these. Do 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 ba da ba da ba da ba da ba 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 ba. There we go. I forgot which uh button I had mapped out to what just then, that was weird. That gets stuck in my head. Alright. Uh, 
Well, that looks seven seconds, and I stopped up. I didn't even start moving at first. Boom. There we go. Let's go back to Cranky's lab. I think one day, one day soon, maybe once we've finished our museum of gaming, um, I would like to do a speed run. I reckon that would be fun. I haven't done a speed run of any game, I don't think. Um, in terms of what's happening with the channel, I know that um, when Final Fantasy 15 comes out, I will be. I, I kind of want to live stream it, but I'm thinking I might just upload it to the channel. Um, I'm gonna gonna have like a couple days past release date, mainly because um, I did an online order, so it has to be delivered. Cool, we've got that. Um, other than that. I don't know if there's any other time that I'll be intentionally taking a break from the uh, Museum of Gaming, or I guess the channel in general, if that's one way to put it. I can't do that yet. Um, yeah. Not a break from the channel, um, just like a, a break from recording because I have other things in mind. I guess that's more of a way to look at it. Um, yeah, because uh, I definitely don't want to take a break from the channel, but I want to make sure that I, um, I do have some time off every now and then, because otherwise what I'm doing to myself is saying I'm going to work every single day and I won't take a break, which is not good for my mental health, I can tell you that much. Um, even on the days when I, like, the thing is, on the days when I'm not recording gameplay. I'm still playing games, which is kind of really bad. I should go and do some other things. But I have been going out and going out walking uh, with Pokemon Go, granted, um, some nights. Um, still got karate and all that. Been really busy at the moment, so I haven't gone back since the tournament. Two weeks. Um, but I don't have filming on... Um, on Tuesday nights anymore, which means I can go back to karate, which is awesome. Um, um, yes, I was saying something. Um, yeah, so I need to get exercising some more because I really don't want to uh, get really unfit. <laughs> um, yeah. Is there a way to like skip cutscenes? No. So essentially what, what we're gonna do is free this dude. And he's gonna help us beat Cave Rule. gets excited like this as he goes through the game um, and he ends up breaking different areas to allow us to get in there to the level. It's actually very creative the way they've done it but now that rock's gonna go boom. Alright let's get through this we get to the first uh, part of the level, I can show you that. Which would be good. Oh, I don't know how it's already 9 o'clock. Wow. I must have been playing Final Fantasy for ages. I kind of just sat there all day and played the game, which was really bad. I did have a shower, I did record Loot Creek. Organising, uh, I made myself coffee, um, but I'm organising dinner for myself now, which will be ready very soon. Um, but other than that, I really did not do much. Wow, that is terrible. Okay, right, so this signpost guy blocks you from getting through to stu <laughs> stupid, I've just read that, uh, certain levels, and you have to give him golden, oh, well, golden bananas. Oh, 
Come on. Uh, to proceed. I have a number. The way you have to get a certain amount before you can enter levels. I guess it really stops you from going into a certain level before you're prepared for it. Cool. So this is going to come up. See, this is what I thought would happen at the start of the game, not voice acting. So that was weird. But yes, now we enter the first level. Go through, then we find a boss. And I don't understand this part. How we end up getting um, bananas and stuff through cutscenes. Always been weird. There's that. Uh, I'm gonna play for about five more minutes because I think pretty much I just want to get to get into the main level. Um, not gonna go to the boss because it's gonna take me forever. But I remember that in this game we used to have uh, go away. We used to have. Um... I'm trying to think, what was these toys? We had a banjo. Toy, and then it was like a Thunderbird uh, toy. And I remember that my brother and I went, like, this is back when we were like, I was probably like, I don't know, when did this come out? Uh, I was probably six or seven when this came out, I think. Or when we got this, I don't know. Not when it came out, when we got this game. Six, seven, eight, I don't know, my brother was probably ten. But <laughs> we used to uh, muck around and pretend that we were fighting one of the bosses in Donkey Kong 64 with these toys. Uh, my brother had, like, my younger brother had this uh, stuffed, like, rainbow caterpillar toy. And we used to pretend that that was uh, the boss, um, which was, like, a dragon lizard thing in this game. I can't even remember which boss it is, like, in the game, like, what number boss, what level boss. Um, <laughs> We used to uh, pretend that we were playing this game and would fight that thing. And we <laughs> would reenact the boss fight like to a T using these, this like banjo action figure. We never had Kazooie, which I didn't understand. We had Ban. Oh no, that's right, because we had a banjo and a Diddy Kong, and they were from Diddy Kong Racing, so it didn't have Kazooie. But we had the cart, it's like the Diddy Kong Racing cars as well, and they would sit in there and they would race them around. Oh, there's so many toys from back in the day that I wish I still had that, um, that when I have my own kids that I would love for them if they could play with them. I'm going to look up and see if I can find any of those on eBay, because if I can, oh, they'd probably be so expensive, but I would just love to get some of those old toys that I had. I remember I used to have um, all the old school uh, Battle beat them on. Absolutely loved them, but we ended up getting rid of them, and I'm so upset that I got rid of them because I am um, my youngest brother, who is now what is he? Uh, four, turning four. He is four. Um, I had to think about that then. He is four. <laughs> That was really bad memory. I just had like a mental blank then when I was talking um, about his age. I know his age. Um, um, yeah, so, um, what was I saying? Yeah, when he was born, um, like some of my Toys like we kept, and then as he's as he's been getting older, we've actually been uh, letting him play with some of them. So I got like all my Star Wars Lego and things like that. He loves them, but I ended up finding the new uh, Battle Beatman figures, which come in complete like pieces now, rather than um, because I remember the old ones you actually had to build. They were like little models. I absolutely love that fact that they were like models. Um, Anyway, I got the, he loves them. We ended up watching the cartoon and that. He got bored of the cartoon at one point. Because he, do, he doesn't understand it all yet. Um, but yeah, I remember that we like went through that, like this phase where he was like absolutely loving these toys that I had. 
and I got them for two bucks a pop. Like they're really cheap. And I remember that. Um, yeah, this will give you three coins. Um, and I remember that. Like they were expensive. The old ones, they were like twenty bucks each, and then I got these new ones for five bucks. Granted, they're nowhere near as good as the old ones were, but I had pretty much all of all of the old ones. Um, I'd build them all. I'd make my own custom ones out of them because I loved the cartoon. As ridiculously childish as the cartoon is, I still enjoy it. I mean, in its like raw essence, it is a cartoon about some person who has this uh, marble shooter toy, and he um, and it has magical powers essentially. He's like the chosen one, and he was raised by cats or whatever. Yeah, so it's like absolutely ridiculous story, but in I absolutely loved it. Uh, and I'm gonna play for about like a minute more, maybe. Um, yeah, so pretty much what <laughs> what are you doing in this level? You want to go around and you want to collect uh, all of the bananas that you can, um, because you need to get a certain amount of bananas before you can fight the boss. Um, I think both golden bananas and regular bananas. No, regular bananas mainly. I think the and you can unlock it here. Um, the regular bananas you feed to make these guys um, fatter, so that they're heavier and will be able to um, hit a button. So what, they're like on a pendulum. I, actually, I'll go and show you, and then we'll finish off. Um, well, they're in that door there. That was not good. Um, there are a few issues with the controls on this, but it's one of those things that you just learn to deal with. Okay, so you can hit these switches with the coconut gun, and when you hit the three of them, Diddy Kong will come out. Alright, so there's that, um, and then I'll go and show you this last part. I got another teleport pad. Um, and each of the Kongs has a different special ability, um, and they're all good at different things. Which is also really cool. There's so many awesome things I love about this game. But the controls are the one thing that let it down for me, surprisingly. I don't like the controls, I think the controls are really difficult. At least on the actual Nintendo 64 controller, they they were all right. Like I'll, I'll give it that. They weren't the best controls, but they were all right. Anyway, so in this room, this is where you would go and fight the boss of each level, and you need 60 bananas to get through here. And you've what are they? Trough and scoff or something like that. But as stupid as this is, like it's absolutely ridiculous. In each one, you can get all the bananas from your different characters. You go and stand on this pad, and then you throw all your bananas to this hippopotamus. And as you feed him, he gets bigger. There's a required amount you need on the door. When he gets that big, he's whacked that pad down enough, and the pig can reach the lock and unlock it. Simple as that. Uh, we're going to end this here. I um, hope you enjoyed that. It Gave you a bit of showcasing of the game, not too much, although like a lot of it's the cutscenes and story. Um, I would have loved to play to the boss, but that's going to take way too long because we're on 24 minutes recording now. I think it's going to take me at least an hour of gameplay before I can get to the boss, so or at least fight the boss. Um, yeah, so we won't be doing that today. Maybe another day I'll do a let's play of it, but for now, that's all we're going to be doing. That's yeah, it's enjoyable. I would give it. Uh, 7.5 out of 10. The one thing that lets it down for me are the controls. I find the controls have always been difficult with this game and I forget what buttons what in the layout and the camera angles can often be difficult. But the overall gameplay is good, um, combat is decent, it, it, it is hard to execute some of the moves and actually hit the enemy sometimes. I always, always find myself running into it, which you would have seen me run into under the beaver things before. Um, but the whole design elements and all, it's, it's a great game. Um, yeah, 7.5, there is definitely some improvement that could have been there, 
but it is one of those great games that um, I'll always remember and I've got multiple copies of because of it. Um, anyway, other than that, tomorrow we're playing Doom 64, so look forward to that one guys. I'm actually looking forward to that. haven't played any of the Doom games, but I've heard a lot about them. Um, yeah, anyway, have a great one and I'll catch you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the previous video for this series, click the top left video. If you want to check out my favourite videos from my own playlists, check out the bottom one where I've compiled them all together for you to check out. And if you're not subscribed, you can hit my logo up in the top right to subscribe. Again, thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.